Mark Kaufman for Whiskey Whistle. Edward Hour straight from the cask. Stay tuned for the Whiskey Whistle. Hey folks, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle bringing you Whiskey Review number 259. This is from Edward Hour. It's straight from the cask 2002 to 2014. Now this could be a number of different ones, I think. I'm having a hard time figuring that out, but that'll be part of the fun. And uh, perhaps uh, Mel Oak, who provided the sample for me, will then tell me in a comment as, uh, as per which exact release this is. All right, let's get it open and we'll get it poured. These have a little extra cap on them to prevent leakage. That's really nice. And uh, let's get that poured into my nice nosing glass. There we go. Well, it's cask strength. <laughs> oh my, we don't uh, matured in sherry, but well, it's certainly got the color for it. All right, well, that's a bit of a mystery, but hopefully the color is all natural, until filtered. Let's see if that tells us uh, what this is, okay? Let's check out the color. We'll check out the legs, the nosing, the tasting, and the finish, followed by the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. Okay, the color. What a dark, coppery, nearly mahogany type of a color. Rosewood comes to mind. Very rich, very deep. Something you can really appreciate because it's natural. Gorgeous. And how about the legs? Let's see how the legs do. Spin that around. And here we go. What do we see for legs there? They really begin quite slowly. They really hang on the glass very, very well. And I'm just beginning to get legs showing up. And uh, when you look around the rest of the glass, you can see them about halfway down now. Very slow. Look at that. An extremely slow leg show. All right, well, let's get on to the nosing. I'm pretty sure that's Sherry. All right, well, Mel, please leave a comment. Tell, me, tell us exactly what this is. But I'm getting, I'm getting all kinds of dried fruits. I'm getting um, a rich dark brown sugar. Very, very tart and yet sweet raisins. I'm getting uh, dried cherries, chocolate covered dried cherries. Cocoa is showing up here as well. Well, what a beautiful scent that is. It'll probably do a lot of developing as I leave it out here. So let's just stir that around a little bit and see what happens. It's very rich. A little bit of alcohol, uh, kind of a waftiness as well. Keep in mind it's cask strength, so you'll get that a little bit. You know, it's an alcoholic beverage. You can't get away from the alcohol. Now, having tried the regular standard Edredauer, I can say it's a little bit similar. It's got that same very meaty earthiness to it uh, that you don't get from the big, big distilleries. This was, by the way, formerly Scotland's smallest distillery. Now there's quite a few that are smaller than it. Okay, on to the palate. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Oh, unreal. So 11, I guess it's 11 years old, all sherry matured. 
uh, you are getting something that you can't get from a lot of other distilleries. Uh, of course, the straight from the cask series are not exactly inexpensive. Hmm. The raisins, the chocolate covered cherries, a very rich maltiness, delightful dark raisin cake almost. Very fruit cakey, including. Um, well, take your fruit cake and you put a bit of butter on it. That's delicious. The finish, of course, it's dry. Yes, it's dry. But it's also very sweet. It's also very tart. It's got a very nice balance to it. The chocolate cherry is carrying very nicely. This reminds me quite a lot of uh, Glenn Farkless 2004 vintage uh, cask strength German release. Mm. All right, time to add some water. Mel, my goodness, thank you. How great is this? Have you tried any Edward Hours straight from the cask? Leave me a comment and let me know which ones I should be looking out for if I come across any. Because, boy, there's... There's every kind of finish out there. And I have come across them occasionally in Korea, but the price is just astronomical. Maybe I should have jumped in for one of them. Oh well. With water added, you get a little bit more malt. You get a little bit more cinnamon and nutmeg. And a little bit more of the uh, toasted wood effect. I don't believe there's any charred oak in here. So you get a little bit more of actual, uh, let's call it, uh, wood generated scents and flavors coming from something that is uh, toasted and not charred. Hmm, a bit dusty, a bit dry. All right, the palette now. Cheers, everyone. Mm. With water added, you're just getting a little bit of a hyped up event, hyped up, pumped up event with, with water added on the palate. More raisins, more chocolate, more chocolate covered cherry, more cocoa. Add a couple more drops there. All right. So I've tried the standard 10 year old. I've also had a very special Balakin, the eighth release, which is a Sauternes matured uh, PD Edredauer. So this is number three. And let me tell you, it does not disappoint. A little bit more candied on the nose, kind of like a pudding, or maybe like a, um, a, a foam candy. Okay, cheers again everyone. Thanks a lot Mel. Cheers to you. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful balance there. Gorgeous. Similar flavors, nothing new, but it's just all coming together very nicely. The finish, maybe even a little bit more of that chocolate cherry um, is being noticed, well, by me. Passive, why am I using the passive? Mm. Well, I really quite like that. You should be able to find that perhaps, maybe at auction. I would guess at auction it's probably a pretty good price. Um, Edward Howard just really isn't very famous as a distillery. Um, and with that being said, might be worth looking out for that one. Okay, let's get on the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Edward Hour, straight from the cask, 
2002 to 2014. What's that going to be? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be 92 out of 100. Yes, you heard right. 92 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Edardour. Straight from the cask, 2002 to 2014, courtesy of Mel. Mel, thank you so much again. All right. So, a uh, definite buy. I would absolutely get that one. And I would probably pay, if it were up to $200, I would happily pay that for this bottle. Just saying. All right, then. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel right over here by clicking that link right there, that little round emblem, okay? So right now, take your finger, everybody, and choop. Good. Have you subscribed? <laughs> thank you. All right, and also the Patreon account. Um, become a patron. Get involved with Whiskey Whistle. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com backslash Whiskey Whistle. Get involved. You'll get the whiskey whistle newsletter you also get the patreon patron priority pass and what that is is about a day of advanced access to the whiskey whistle reviews that are going to be ad free and ready just for you so do check that out and there's more to come of course very soon and uh anyway again thanks so much for watching take care everyone grab a bottle of that and we'll see you next time goodbye Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time.